each patch can contain its own effects setup. And to view the effects that are used, go to F6. And we want to look at the general layout under F1. And we see here a schematic. This represents the wiring of each tone through the effects network. So tone 1, in this case, is shown to have a send level to the reverb module of 51. 55 send level to chorus and 127 send level to the mix master output bus. Okay, so this is, if you like, a balance between direct signal, chorus send, reverb send, and the output of the chorus and reverb modules can be set independently as well. So you can create a balance between the effects and the direct signal. Okay, you can choose whether the chorus is output directly to the mix bus or sent directly into the reverb unit. You can also choose the output type, whether in mix mode, we're simply using reverb and chorus to the mix bus, or whether we incorporate the EFX module. In this case, the EFX type appears, and we can then select from one of 40 EFX effects. Okay, the sound level of EFX to chorus can be adjusted, as well as to the main output. And we can even select for the outputs of the EFX module to go to the separate direct outputs on the rear of the XP80. OK. Now, the master reverb and chorus parameters are available down here. Reverb under F5. And here we can change the reverb type and the level, as well as a few other parameters associated with reverb. And this is global for all four tones. And exactly the same thing for chorus. OK. Level, rate, depth, and so on.